listening to Jersey Central with Burt Barron on the new Talk Radio 1450 WCTC. Call Jersey Central at 732-545-9282. Toll free at 888-545-9282. Watch Jersey Central live online at WCTCAM.com or listen on your smartphone with the iHeartRadio or TuneIn apps. Connect with WCTC on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube by searching 1450 WCTC. CTC. And now, back to Jersey's Morning Show. Jersey Central with Burt Barrett. 737, welcome back to Jersey Central on this Monday morning on the new talk radio, WCTC. The voice of Central Jersey, it is Burt Barron. Our contest is on the way. We've got the UFC 128 DVD to give away and tickets to the Golden Oldies Spectacular at the State Theater. We'll give away both prizes to one lucky winner coming up uh, in just a bit. Let's go to the Raritan Bay Medical Center Jersey Newsmaker Hotline in this Monday morning. Welcome in my special guest, who is the creative director for something called Live In Theater. I just love the concept of this. Our guest this morning is uh, Mr. Carlo Diamore, who joins us uh, here on this Monday. Hi, Carlo. It's Bert Barron. Welcome to WCTC. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks so much for having me, Bert. My pleasure. You could do a much better job of explaining how the Live In Theater works, which I just love. Can you talk about how this uh, how this works? Absolutely. Absolutely. So basically what we do, Bert, is we create interactive murder mystery experiences but actually have the audience playing pivotal roles in this particular show that we're premiering right now. It's called The Lombardi Case, 1975. It's a murder set in the mid-1970s in the Lower East Side of Manhattan. And the audience would play rookie cops who are charged with helping the police of the 5th Precinct try to solve this murder. Uh, socialite's daughter, politician's daughter from Connecticut, has been murdered in a drug-infested squat in the Lower East Side. So essentially, the audience is broken up in a small team, and they head out to the streets of the Lower East Side where they encounter a host of really cool characters, characters that um, that people uh, maybe you want to talk to, but you never have the experience of talking to, like uh, junkies and trannies and corrupt cops and mobsters. And basically, the audience is playing rookie cops who are interrogating the suspects. So it's the closest thing to living in an episode of Law and Order that, that you can find anywhere else. Yeah, exactly. You could be a pretend you're Lenny Briscoe for uh, for a little while there, right? But uh, <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, this is so yeah, cool. Yeah. So it, you, not only are you just going to a show, now you're actually you feel like you're you're trying to crack the case and and working with the other audience members. What a great yeah, idea! Definitely, definitely, you're, you're becoming a community within your teams. Their teams are about ten to twelve people max, so you really get to bond. I mean, at the end of the show, we have people say. Hey, changing phone numbers, say, hey, follow me on Facebook, on Twitter. People become a community, and what really binds them is try, exactly trying to solve the case, which is very intricate. And the shows are hilariously funny from beginning to end because the actors are always coming from the place of this really happened, so there's a heightened sense of reality from the actors. Mm-hmm. But the audience always knows it's a show, right, in quotes. So it is so funny, and it's uh, very challenging to solve. And you're also getting a uh, trip uh, back in time to the mid-1970s because the shows are actually heavily inspired by real criminal cases. So I do a lot of research. I find fascinating cases for one one reason or another, and I basically make them come to life. So the audience gets like a time travel component on top of everything else. Uh, Yesterday we had a sold-out show. People came dressed in costume, the audience members. We had a woman who was a big afro, and oh my god, such a who She was in her 60s. Wow. And incredible. But yeah, it was awesome. We have like teenagers, we have senior citizens in the audience, we have everybody. And it's just a great uh, cross section of New York and uh, New Jersey. Awesome. And, and as for you, as the creative director, you, you try to get, you know, make it as authentic as possible with the clothing and the speech and uh, the props. Oh, yeah. You try to make it as a real an experience as possible, right? Absolutely. We push the envelope. You know, uh, murder mysteries tend to be theatrical. Ones tend to be, for lack of a better term, really hokey or corny. You know, you have the guy dressed up like Sherlock Holmes, you know, with the magnifying glass. So we don't do that at all. Uh, what really the success of live in theater is sort of the authenticity of the shows and uh, that the actors are so authentic. Like when you encounter our junkie on the street, um, a lot of pedestrians were walking and they see an audience group interrogating the junkie. Uh, sometimes, you know, the audience uh, pedestrians will be like, oh, my God, are they those people harassing that, that drug addict, you know, or somebody <laughs> will call an ambulance. And it's so funny, the police department in the, in the Lower East Side completely know the actors by now. So they're like, hey, Trixie, they're honking their horns. <laughs> so it's the actors incorporate all that stuff. So it feels 
So one of the one of the plus sides is that you, as an audience member, don't really know. Wait, is that a crazy New Yorker? Or is that one of the characters we're supposed to interrogate? So there's so many moments of like synchronicity and magic that happen that are just because it's happening on the streets and because it feels so real. Yeah, uh, is, uh, this particular show sounds up. It's for grownups. Uh, do all the shows that you do, Carlo? Are, are there any family ones? Or are they all basically for, yeah. for 21 and That's over? Yeah, great. No, thanks for asking this. The Lombardi case, when we play to the general public, which okay. we have some performances right now at liveintheater.com, uh, they, it's an R-rated experience. Okay. So we tailor fit the experience. We just did the show, uh, the Lombardi case, for the New York Rangers, who played for all the, the team and, and their significant others. Wow. And the Rangers were like, you know, rack it up for us. We want it really super raunchy. So we gave them like an <laughs> oh, X, yeah. X, X-rated experience. About a week later, we did the same show for a choir, from Michigan, about oh, 100 boy. middle school students. <laughs> so we totally had to taper it back. But we have multiple shows. We have shows set in the 1870s. We have a great one right now happening at the New York Historical Society called The Trial of Typhoid Mary, which is designed for families and kids. Here the kids get to get on st- on, on the stand and be prosecution, defense, uh, jury on the trial of famed uh, Typhoid Mary. So we take history and we make it come alive, and the shows are – we do them in private homes. We do a lot of corporate events. We've done major companies, Fortune 500 companies. We do private – like I said, private homes. And we also, for a limited time right now, are doing general public performances, which is the Lombardi case right now. Very cool. And this is uh, an indoor-outdoor thing, so you want people to be prepared to do a little bit of walking, and you're going to be going inside and outside, right? Yeah, absolutely. You start indoors, you head outside to the streets, you're finding the suspect, and you come back. So you, we ask people to dress for the weather. It's getting really nice outside. Yeah. So if it's a little rainy, you're going to get wet, but it's so much fun. You want police officers work in the rain, too, you know? So, that, so we ask the audience to do the same. In the wintertime, we actually do the shows entirely indoor, and it works just as great. Yeah, I'm sure. How long have you had this concept, uh, Carlo, and when did you bring this to I, life? Well, that's a great question. I started in about 2009. Uh, originally, I'm uh, first and foremost, I like to say I'm an actor. Mm-hmm. Um, moved here from California uh, many, many years ago, and I was very lucky to uh, work on Broadway as an actor. And and I, I was also a really huge history buff, you know. So I was living in the Lower East Side. Uh, I still live there. And uh, saw the neighborhood just really change. And I was like, well, how can I do what I do in the theater and make it a little bit different? Because people want something different. The days of watching something from uh, uh, sitting down in the audience are kind of that dead, dying, if not already dead. So I basically uh, I, I read an article of a murder that had happened back in the 1870s. And I was really fascinated by the murder. It actually happened right around, around the corner from where I live. Um, and I decided, you know what, I'm going to try something out here. And I went on a limb, and I just started putting it on the streets and having uh, characters engage with audiences. And it has morphed into what is live in theater now. We've been uh, very successful. We've seen about, I think today it's about like 55,000 people in New York City. And uh, it's uh, predominantly for, it's word of mouth. Mm-hmm. You know, the... the the innovation of the show is the newness of it is so awesome that people come back and they tell their friends. Um, so it's just coming out of a, a place of wanting to, to, to push the envelope and do something uh, theater-related, but just in a little different format. So it becomes theater, but it's also gaming. You know, it's, it's a game. The audience has to solve the, the, the puzzle. And the murder mysteries are actually very difficult to solve. One of the hardest things about it is that you're laughing your butt off in the very beginning, you know? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it's kind of hard to keep everything in check, you know? Real, real good. Uh, Carlo, where could someone go to get some more information or maybe buy tickets and, uh, and check out Live in Theater? Yeah, please. Just go to our website, uh, Live in Theater. And the basic idea, so you can remember the name, is that you're living inside the theater. So uh, it's L-I-V-E-I-N-T-H-E-A-T-E-R, liveintheater.com. There's ticket tab. There's group inquiries if you want to bring a group to us. Uh, yeah, check us out on Live in Theater, and uh, we'd love to have all of you. Good stuff, Carlo. Thanks for your time this morning, and uh, congratulations. Good luck going forward to Live in Theater. I love the concept, my man. And we got to do a, a New Jersey murder mystery. we got to work on you setting bet. up one of those, right? I'm actually working on it right now. Oh, that's Plan beautiful. Well, you got to circle awesome. back and uh, let us know when that's ready to roll, all right? I will. Thanks so much, Bert. I appreciate it. Thanks, my friend. Have a great day, all right? All right. All right. You too. Bye-bye. All right. There he goes. Uh, Carlo DeMore, who was the creator.